afternoon. My name is Marjorie Linton and I am an ordained minister of religion, author, motivational speaker, and a spiritual advisor with over 20 years experience. Welcome to my podcast, Healing Thoughts Today. Please join me now as I share workable views for healing and inspiration to empower you and to lift your vision higher. Today's topic is the value of persistence. And there may be times when we all have the need to exercise persistence in one form or another. You may be bombarded with pain and the suffering that seems almost unending. You may want to start that business so dear to your heart. You may be trying to qualify for that dream home. You may want to write that book. You may want to fulfill that long-awaited desire to become a doctor. Or you may want to move into a managerial position on your job. Unfortunately, you always seem to fall short. You may have reached the breaking point just about ready to give up. But don't throw in the towel just yet, my friends. Hope is always alive. All it takes is a little perseverance. Just keep the prayer line active and keep on praying. Persistence in life depends on your willingness to never give up. Some goals in our lives manifest easily, but sometimes great effort and a persistent prayer attitude are required. As children of God, we have unlimited resources right within us. We all have a fighting spirit and we are made to withstand even the most severe misfortune. Our lives can be compared to that of a tree. Deuteronomy 2019 tells us, For a man is a tree of the field. Trees are strong and resilient, but for a tree to be grounded, it needs to be attached to its life source, the soil. Like the tree, the human spirit is also resilient, but we first need to be grounded in spiritual discipline, utilizing our spiritual faculties and turning our faces toward the light of God. Abraham Lincoln is one of those people who exercised great persistence even after many setbacks and failures. Not accepting defeat in any of his life circumstances, he never stopped until he became victorious. Experiencing failure after failure, Lincoln did not give up and he eventually went on to become a great president and to be called a man for the ages. He inspired many people of all generations to never give up and he encouraged them to believe in their dreams. The good news is every one of us is capable of exercising the same potential in overcoming 
by being vigilant in our pursuit and by praying without ceasing. Winston Churchill, former Prime Minister of the UK, once wrote, Heights my great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upwards in the night. Some time ago, I took on this attitude when I started my garment manufacturing business. I was determined to succeed. So, after many drawbacks, I forcefully adopted a persistent attitude even when faced with doubts, uncertainties, and anxieties. I prepared my samples for the sales market nonetheless and stepped out in faith. But each time my enthusiasm quickly turned into disappointment as I was often redirected. All I wanted to do, my friends, was to cry and run and hide myself. But my feeling of insufficiency was usually short-lived. Beneath my disappointment and intense frustration was a sheer determination. I will not give up, I strongly affirmed. I prayed endlessly, my friends, hoping that one day I would achieve my goals. And so I pressed on. Eventually, after many disappointments, I got my first order. This was hardly a substantial order, but nevertheless, I was elated. Soon after, everything began to fall in place. And within a short time, I had to expand my business to accommodate the sales. If at first you don't succeed, try and try and try again. Many of us were taught this little proverb growing up as children, and it has become a staple for some of us, reminding us always to keep on trying. In Luke chapter 18, Jesus told a parable that explained the importance of praying without ceasing. There was a certain judge in a city who neither feared God nor regarded man. Now, there was a widow in that same city who went to the judge seeking justice from her adversary. The judge repeatedly ignored the widow's request. But the widow was persistent. She would not give up until her request was granted. The judge, who got tired of the widow's persistence, eventually said to himself, Even though I do not fear God or regard man, I will get this widow away from bothering me. I will just give her what she desires and be rid of her. Jesus reminded us, dear friends, that if this unjust judge, not fearing God or regarding man, could give in to this widow's perseverance, how much more will our Heavenly Father who loves us so very much answer our frequent and persistent requests? The message in this parable is loud and clear, my friends. Don't give up. Persevere in your efforts. Keep on praying. Just know that God will see you through. So persevere despite any obstacles you may face along the way. 
Do whatever you can humanly do to achieve your desired goal. Believe in your dreams. Expect your good, but do not focus your attention only on the result. Focus your attention on God, who is in essence all the things that you desire. Let go and let God, and the breakthrough will come sooner or later, often when you least expect it. In the book of 1 Kings 18, 1 to 16, Elijah displayed this attitude by praying persistently for rain when there was no rain in Israel or the nearby countries for over three years. The earth was barren. The farmers could not raise crops and the people suffered from hunger. Even though there was no sign of rain, Elijah displayed a deep optimistic spirit as he prayed persistently for rain. Elijah advised Ahab, king over Israel, to go on top of the mountain because the famine was over and soon there would be rain. Ahab looked up in the sky and there was not a rain cloud in sight. Nevertheless, he did what Elijah told him to do. Elijah got to the top of the mountain and with his servant watching him, he knelt down and he prayed earnestly, asking God to send rain upon the earth. Next, Elijah sent his servant to look toward the sea for any sign that it might rain. But the servants reported nothing. Elijah continued praying and nevertheless, each time sending his servants to look for any sign of rain. After praying for the seventh time and sending his servants to look for rain, finally, the servants reported seeing a little cloud about the size of a man's hand rising out of the sea. Elijah became very optimistic. He continued to fast and to pray even though there was still no rain. Soon, however, the sky became dark and the rain began to pour in torrents. That little cloud that the servant saw out at sea, my friends, represents Elijah's faith compared to a grain of mustard seed, which we all know has great potential. Jesus said in Matthew 17, verse 20, If you have faith, as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it? This kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. All things are possible with God, my friends, but we must persevere in our efforts to achieve our goals and keep trust in God. Elijah was optimistic. He was trusting. He was persistent. And he was hopeful. And most of all, he was expectant. The thing is, persistence does not change God. It allows us the opportunity to build a deep relationship with God and it increases our faith in God. The more persistent we become, the more our spiritual awareness increases. This is because God is always on our side and he wants to give us 
the desires of our hearts. There is a fighting spirit within us that knows no boundaries, no barriers, no defeat, no fear or regret. It is the comforting, guiding presence of God. It encourages us to rise above all seeming challenges. It helps us to find the strength and the courage to press along in faith. When we learn to hand over all our cares to God, we will cultivate patience and ultimately hope. Elijah was trusting, patient, hopeful, and persistent. And he displayed his faith by being expectant. What are your desires today? Are you willing to be like Elijah and to put God to the test despite the many obstacles you may face? James 1 verse 4 says, Let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Amen. And now, my friends, let us look at some points for contemplation. As children of God, we all were meant to succeed. We all have unlimited resources right within us. But first, we must believe in our divine capabilities. Humankind has a fighting spirit within. We are made to withstand even the most severe misfortune. Focus your attention on God who is, in essence, all the things that we desire. The breakthroughs usually come sooner or later, often unexpectedly, whenever we let go of our attachment to the outcome. Persistence allows us the opportunity to build a deep relationship with God. Persistence helps to foster spiritual discipline and facilitate unwavering trust in God. Persistence does not change God. It increases our faith in God. There is a fighting spirit within us that knows no boundaries, no barriers, no defeat, no fear or regret. And now, beloved friends, our call to action. I now invite you to take a moment in the silence. And as you focus your attention on that holy place within you, bring to your mind all the desires of your heart. Release any signs of fear, doubt, or anxiety that tries to take control of your mind. And just remember, dear friends, that your desire is simply God's desire for you. God reminds us in Jeremiah 29, 11, that he has plans for us, plans to prosper and to give us a future. So regardless of outer appearances or distractions, Remember that God is on your side. He is working it out for you. Pray without ceasing and know that your good awaits you at the right time and in the most perfect way. Your breakthrough, beloved friends, is at hand. Center your mind in the light of God's love and peace. 
and become aware of his presence and the power filling every part of your being with clarity, love, peace, and joy. God's light guides you. God's love strengthens you and God's power makes your way easy and successful. Through the mind of God within you, you make wise choices and you experience success in all things. Releasing all your concerns over to God, you trust now in his divine will to establish all that is right and orderly in your life. Your mind is poised and your heart is serene for you know that the Spirit of God works in and through you and through all things to bring forth great possibilities in your life. You are patient and calm, focused on the truth that God is in charge and all is well. Amen. This is the end of Healing Thoughts for today, my friends. May you continue to meditate on the promises of Jesus and may you find the strength and rest for your souls always. God bless you. Goodbye.